Greetings once again to all my fellow journeyers, seekers, guardians, shifters, and lovers out there. My name is Brendan, and uh, I'm filming this video at 6.34 in the morning, so I'm going to finish this at about 6.39, which will be very in sync, but this video in itself is something I felt called to do, and I guess I'm going to call this something like why I haven't had an orgasm in 40 plus days, because that's what it's about, and it's about internal alchemy. Alchemy is a big word, you'll hear me talking about that every now and then. And it's about being able to reconnect with our potential within us, our potential as like humans within this reality. So as for myself, the, this video is relative to my own experience and all I can provide you with is my own experience and knowing that the experience of one means that if one person can experience it, any of us can experience it. So that's a really cool thing. So obviously sex is a big thing. Sexual energy is a big thing within culture and society. It controls like so much of what drives us in a lot of ways, you know? But what happens when we, re when we remove that? What happens when we start to peel back these layers? What does the human nature actually become? And it becomes something more sincere, more compassionate from a deeper intention. And Throughout my history, throughout my past, sexual energy has been something that's been of interest to me because I was reading stories and I was just like, okay, there's like people back in the day who actually were aware about cultivating the sexual energy and lived very long lives and talked about how the cultivation of the seminal fluid within the male is such an important thing because that energy, that f literal fluid from the base of our spine, when you think of it, it's at the base of our spine, it's like a conglomeration of a lot of stuff, but then that actually like becomes a spiritual lubricant it's one of the best ways I can say it and it moves up your spine it moves up your spine up and around through here and into your third eye and like into your brain and it like lubricates your brain it actually changes something um, at least it might be hard to find this in a textbook obviously um, ancient medicine teachings will talk about this but it's something that through my own experience goes hand in hand with what we would refer to as like kundalini activation sensations and the more that we cultivate our sexual energy the more that we sort of open up for this potential because since the lubricants there the like the energy and the electricity flows so the energy activation sensations so it's tingling sensations of the spine a lot of you are familiar with this a lot of you are becoming more familiar with this like several years ago someone told me they're like that means uh that's like dna activation when that happens so i mean whether you're calling it dna activation or not my best guess is that when that experience happens it's actually a good thing the more we can have that the better not only does it feel good or i mean it feels good I'm trying to avoid the use of war not the use of the word not in everyday common language for myself is one thing but it is opening us up to visceral experiences and those of you who are familiar with the global meditation that we did on the 19th I said that was such a unique experience because by then I was probably at like day 25 ish but because that energy was there there was like a five minute period when we were in the meditation throughout the meditation but specifically within a five minute period where I was like feeling that kundalini activation sensation for uh, consistently so normally we'll get the sensation when we're listening to music and you know it's the right part the right time we're just like ah oh, cool so this must work the same way in females the energy I mean the genitals are different but the energy is the same when you get down to it um, but again as the males it's such an, a it's such a powerful thing to be able to decondition to deprogram our habits of like constantly watching pornography and everything so with less than a minute in this video let me summarize it for you and I can talk more about this later if you guys are interested but keeping this one short for those of you who are trying to do this for the males my t suggestion for you my tip rather if you're in the habit of watching porn again this was something I had to go through too and everything right to sort of like overcome it and move through it is to the way how to overcome it is to fall in love with the sensation of choosing to avoid doing it and not avoid doing it but rather like consciously falling in love with the alternative choice and the alternative choice is to develop your willpower and to actually do something that you haven't done before or you ha you know you have yet to do and what would society look like if all the males actually like cultivated their energy and, and obviously I like I'm I'm not saving it for a certain time but at the same time there's there is 
I want to be able to see what happens. I want to be able to experience. I want to be able to know for myself firsthand where I can take myself and to be able to cultivate this energy into daily, everyday activities is another thing. Like that energy is part of the reason why I'm up at 6.39 in the morning on the, e on the day after the equinox and like feeling really alive. So the reason why I do what I do is because if I'm here to be a person who's helping usher in a, a new future, uh, a new way of perceiving things, a leader, a shifter, a guardian, in the same way you are, then I want to be as as I want to be in a place where I can be doing an honest effort and be putting forth an honest effort because the time is now. So going into journey to lucidity three who knows maybe i'll be at plus 60 days but what if i do like that is a very interesting idea and what will that look like on film so stay tuned for that again i'm just going with the flow i'm open to seeing where things are going and i can talk more about this but we'll wrap this video up as it is at 609 on my clock and for the males out there for the females i encourage you if this is something you feel called to do, invite that experience into yourself there. There's more to talk about and it, there's more to experience. So, cool stuff. <sighs> Alright, well I'm going to go work on the new free hugs video so that may be up by the time you see this in the future. And uh, subscribe for more videos, check it out on my channel, share this information with your friends. But more importantly, live it. And uh, you can do research. So, continue. The quest is yours. Have fun. Peace. One love.